Dear Soma Girls, that crazy night in Cabo had a weird effect on my boss, EC. He was all smiles and on good behavior for two weeks afterwards, a total record. Then he announces that we're leaving for a series of shoots in Italy with just the two of us. I'd always liked him, but never let myself think of him romantically, especially since he tears my head off regularly at the office. But now that we're in the heart of the Tuscan wine country, I'm seeing things in a new light. He seems so relaxed and low-key here. We took time out to taste the local Chianti before shooting around the vineyard. He was very sweet, didn't make any thoughtless remarks, and made me feel as beautiful as the countryside. Something was going on, and I wasn't complaining, yet. Lake Como was a dream, and EC pulled out all the stops. Private plane, historic villa, water tour of Gold Coast Villas owned by George Clooney, Richard Branson, and Gianni Versace. Picturesque romantic 16th century town, fancy shopping, secret waterfall. You get the idea. I was ready to fall in love. And after chasing the sunset with champagne, I knew Easy felt the same way, and I gave in to the feelings I'd had for him from the start. It was thrilling, all the more so because I knew deep down I shouldn't be screwing my boss. I didn't listen to the voice telling me I shouldn't that night, but I started to the next morning. He barely looked at me over breakfast, casually texting someone while I stared at my double espresso. He barked commands at me on the shoot, even more rudely than usual. He was back to his old, bad self, and it sucked. I felt hurt and used. I didn't know what to say, think, or do as we walked down to the lakeside. I was screwed. As I stood posing in one of the most beautiful places on earth, I contemplated drowning myself right there. <laughs>